Hi, this is Frank Prendergast, and I'm here with Yen from Vietnam, an activist in the LGBT community. What is the situation like for people, uh, for LGBT people in Vietnam? Well, um, it's a, um, in a, like a brief of what to describe our LGBT movement in Vietnam. I must say that um, we are in a um, dynamic situation. Uh, so that um, most of us um, are very young and we learn a lot from the um, movement outside. And then we, ca we apply uh, flexibility uh, inside the Vietnam. And, um, and now with um, many other groups and uh, organizations working about LGBT issues so that we have a network to promote the issue and together with many other like um, ethnic minorities or HIV or youth or uh, people with a disability or women so we together um, celebrate the human rights. What is the situation like you're you're an open lesbian in Vietnam uh, what is the situation like for somebody who's openly gay in Vietnam? Mm. I must say that since uh, 2008 uh, the movement in Vietnam started and uh, I think the most um, we can th achieve is like um, the door. The doors are opening to us. For example, um, the doors it, is that um, people were feeling uh, talking about LGBT was a kind of taboo, or the perception about homosexuality or transgender was not so good. Like um, this can be cured. But this is not good, or this is against the tradition of Vietnam. However, together with uh, the media, uh, together with uh, the B flags, the young people, and especially we we achieved uh, with the um, empowerment among the LGBT community, so that now it is not a taboo to talk about LGBT about same-sex marriage or transgender people. Specifically, are people who are LGBT, are they beat up? Are they discriminated yeah. against when it comes to housing, mm -hmm. into employment? What specifically happens? Uh, the, most, um, um, the most barrier in f of uh, each LGBT people in Vietnam comes from inside the family, the unacceptance of parents. Mm. The reason came from uh, the the knowledge of the society or the um, negative um, description from the media. So we work a lot and try to change. Um, for example, if you are gay or lesbian or transgender, it is very hard to be accepted by parents. They can, they can think that this is a kind of disease or you are affected by your LGBT friends. Mm. Or this is a kind that uh, imported to Vietnam from the West. Uh, so can you get married? Can you adopt children? Oh, um, before two, um, from 2000, uh, the, the law of family and marriage in Vietnam uh, had the article of ban same-sex marriage. And until last, last year, we had the very big uh, advocacy for changing it. We raised the issue from the same-sex marriage into the rise of uh, living with uh, people who we love and being ourselves. So, um, several days ago, um, as the NA, NA, National Assembly in Vietnam, got the decision about the law, and actually the ban was removed. Oh, yeah. just days ago. Yes, uh, I don't remember, it's June 19th. However, is that we, the same-sex relationship, uh, same-sex cohabitation or marriage uh, is not recognized. So the rise of adoption, for example, or um, being the representative uh, to each other uh, are not included there. So uh, according to our list, our checklist that in case we, are, we cannot get married, our marriage is not acceptable, so we lost about 71 rights among the, the law. However, uh, the latest thing is that um, maybe the Vietnam government will consider to have a law of, uh, against uh, this stigma and discrimination to LGBT people. Um, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot.